like a table, so I'm here for Israel Matikis podcast. I've been chosen personal, so I can't wait to meet the guy of it. Like, uh, he's my role model. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Israel Mateke Zulu, aka GP Orange. Welcome to Up Close and Personal with Israel Mateke Zulu podcast. My guest today is Tabo. Is Tibo, Tabo who? Hooray. Hooray, hooray, Who's Tabo? The Tabo is uh, a big fan of GP Orange. Okay. Yes. Uh, um, I grew up in Fontaine. Blue Fontaine? Yes. Right. I did my, my, my high school there and I went to technical. Mm, 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 and then I, st I did study uh, mechanical engineering. Mm. And then from there I went to, I, I went to join the Navy. Okay. Yes. So what happened with the, with the course you did, chemical engineering? What made you to, to swap? from mechanical engineering, I, you are supposed to be working at Sasol, uh, or, or, or you are supposed to be uh, combining some chemicals, some liquids to, to, to create a petrol or electricity as we are in, in, in the problem of load shading right now. Mm. Then you decided to become a Navy. Mm. Tell me about the scenario. So from, <coughs> from Technicon to, join, to me being joined in the Navy. Yeah. They took me as like uh, under the, the the engineering staff, which is a uh, technical. Oh, you are you are you are at the technical side of the things yes. at the department of the navy. Yes. Oh, well done. That's good. That's good. That's good. So then, then tell me when 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 was your first time when you see me? I saw you. Is it like not in person? No, oh, not on television person. or in the film or wherever, wherever you saw me. Okay. The, f the, uh, the first time I saw you was when I was watching Izo Izo. Izo Izo Two. Izo Izo Two. Yeah. 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 From a uh, a prison when we were welcoming Babekshin and Chester. Pelawena, you are a friend from the original onset. Yes. You so are a fan from the first day, <laughs> from the first television series. Yes. And then the, the second movie I watched was Hard to Get. Maxa. 325 IS. 325 IS. <laughs> ah, when I know, when I, you are part of the family. And then <clears throat> the third one that made me like, yo. This guy. This guy is really like the best in the country, the best in the world. Yeah. The best in the universe. I uh, was in number number. Oh. Oh, screw. 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 Yeah. Manta Senza Gako. Manta Senza Gako. Yeah, I'm with you, Jimmy. And then from there, yeah. Yeah. It's Tunzi. Yo, 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 yo. And then it's, it's Bondi. Uh, 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 uh. The list is endless. Yeah. It's Bondi where it's tuned.com. Yo, hard to get, number, number. And, and then. So, 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 so. If, if I may ask you now, eh, mm -hmm. how do you define the person that you regard as the best in what he's doing. As you say, I'm a good actor, mm -hmm. the best actor in the, in the universe. Yes, yes. What makes me a best actor based on your experience, on, on your remarks? Mm -hmm. okay. What is a best actor according to your brains, according to what you see? on television, watching everybody compare me with others, what makes me the best actor? 
what makes you the best actors because like your role you go like like deep into it oh deep into the character yeah yeah deep into the character yeah okay thank you for that and then like if maybe like maybe okay the producer is telling you okay this is your part yeah <laughs> Like according to me, like you give it hand more than hundred and ten percent. Yeah, I give it all. I, I sense that you can be you can be also a good actor yeah. or a good director. Actually, yeah, actually you are a director. <laughs> <laughs> you are a director in disguise of being a navy. You can be the best director because you even know how to analyze. Yes. So yes. if I can give you a job and say be a director. I believe you'll be a good director. So, you flew from Cape Town to, jo to Johannesburg? To, to Johannesburg, yes. What time did you leave Cape Town? I left Cape Town at 7 and then I got here at 9. At 9? Yes. Yesterday? Yesterday. And then where do you sleep? Where did you sleep? Uh, at Sentin. You are money, you know. <laughs> you sleep at Sentin. <laughs> Yes, you are powerful. <laughs> yeah, only to come and see me. Yeah, only to come and see you. So, what inspired you to to create this T-shirt? Okay. Well, when I created this T-shirt was because of like I wanted to. Yeah. People to see like I really love this uh, this gentleman. Okay, do do you have uh, maybe special explanation for each and every picture that you posted here? Do you have meanings? Why you like this picture? Okay. Why this one? Why this one? And why this one? So this one, let me start with this one. Yeah. So this one, this is what you taught me like last year. Yeah. This I, is, I love you. Tell them, what, 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 what is the meaning of the sign? So, I love you. This, this one is you. I. Yes. And then this is you, and yeah. this is L. Good. So this means, I love you. Yeah. Because sometimes people think otherwise when we do the sign, they think yeah. they think gangster. Yeah. So even <laughs> even my current girlfriend now, I was just went to her and then I said this. Yeah. And then that's how I want him. Then she she, she understand. Yes. She now they clear that. What do you mean? Yes. By doing this. Yes. Okay. I can't just go out of the gate with no reason, not knowing where am I going. My girlfriend and my mom, they felt like what, what I do, I love you too much, like more than them. Okay. Yeah. So. And then how do you feel about it? The way they feel about me. Actually, the way they feel about you and me. That you love me more than you're supposed to love. <laughs> Okay, what I feel about it is yeah. that uh, at the end of the day, if you love a person like other people have to understand. Yeah, no? People have to understand. People have to understand. So it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's a different love. It's not the love of of a girlfriend and a boyfriend. Yeah, it, 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 it's it, it's it's a love of of a of person life. that you look up to. Yes, the role model. Yes, yes. Okay. If I can say, I'm giving you a chance to, to make a wish for me, what it will be? What can you wish for me? From now on, upwards. From now on, yeah. okay. What I wish is that you, you shoot more movies. Like, okay. and then because your movies like they motivate us mm. 
and then what well, what I wish more is that you your podcast <clears throat> to be more successful to grow okay. and then to inspire like many of us as youth in the South Africa okay yes I'm loud and clear <clears throat> T was thank you very much I appreciate the love that you give me considering the effort mm. that you put from Cape Town to be here is not a child's play. Yes. I've never met a boy like you. The whole entire universe. Mm. I know people like me a lot, mm. but you are a special kind. So now I'm opening a table for you to ask me anything that you want to know about me. Or anything maybe we've left Anything that you want to ask, you are free to ask. Okay. What? Okay. What I want to know is that uh, what? What is the difference between like when you are in a television? Yes, <laughs> Now you want to be somebody. And when you are in a real life, maybe relaxing with your family. Mm. Yeah. The difference is. When I'm at work, uh, as you have said earlier, I go all out. Mm -hmm. I give more than I supposed to. Mm -hmm. Because I always think about people like you. Mm -hmm. My top secret when I do my work, because I'm disclosing now, it's no longer my secret. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a fear for embarrassment. I don't want to do anything that will embarrass me. Mm -hmm. If I feel like that, I won't sleep well. Mm -hmm. I will approach the director and tell him, no, this is not the one. <laughs> yeah, it's not I can one. see you clapping hands, you like it, no, but no. But me, I don't like it. We have to do it again. Mm -hmm. uh, oh. Because, you know, we're working with the Rainbow Nation people. Mm. Uh, let me say, white people don't understand a lot of things about us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they can understand the technical side, the concept and the content. Mm -hmm. But the practicality, the reality of the people, it's a responsibility of an actor. So it's my right to tell them, no, this is how it's done. Mm -hmm. Perhaps they don't want to give me a space. Mm -hmm. For them to listen to me, then I will leave it like that. But it's not easy for me to leave it like that because I'm the one who's going to appear mm. on the screen. On the screen. Then, when I, when I'm at home, at home I'm a father, mm -hmm. I'm a brother, I'm an uncle, uh, I'm a I'm a responsible person, mm -hmm. social. So, social. Mm -hmm. When I talk about being socially responsible, uh, I hate when I see a child who's never been taught how to pick up a paper from the ground mm. and put it in a rubbish bin. Yeah, I'm as that paper. person of that caliber. Mm -hmm. So I love people who are responsible, who take care of the environment, people who take care of the little resources that were implemented by the government. Even though we are overpopulated, uh, they don't qualify us all. That's why they get damaged mm. very easily. But I'm that kind of person. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm talkative if it's time to talk. Mm. But sometimes I'm quiet. I love my space. Mm. Uh, I'm a man in an island most of the time. Because when I'm alone, that's why I think properly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the ideas come when I'm alone. You meditate. I meditate. Mm. Uh, I introspect. I write. I compose. Uh, I explore mm. ideas. Mm. Mm. So I love my split, my space. I'm most of the time alone mm. in my life, like one man. But I live with people. Mm -hmm. So I'm very handy. Uh, I'm a hard worker. Mm -hmm. 
I hate people who are lazy. Mm -hmm. If you are lazy, you will never be part of my part of my team. Of my crew. Yeah, of the crew. yeah I, I hate lazy mm -hmm. people. I hate cowards. I'm loyal. Mm -hmm. I'm honest. Mm -hmm. But people like I, badly, they meet the opposite. Okay. I'm very loyal. Yeah, I'm that kind of a person. I, I love music. I mm. listen to music a lot. Which kind of music? I like? listen to house. I'm a house kid. Mm -hmm. I listen to deep. Deep house. Yeah, but I'm a quiet singer. Yeah. Yes, yes. I'm a singer it's from important. school. Mm -hmm. From sub A, intermediately to boys choir to mixed choir to adult choir. Mm -hmm. Till I became a professional musician. I teach. That's the space I like. I do this. Yes. I can't just go out of the gate with no reason, not knowing where am I going. What you are known for, like, does that insult that you like? A foot sack. Yes, most of them. A foot sack. I. No, it's not the insult that I like. It's the insult that is being picked up from the the craft that I portray most of the time. Okay. I wasn't aware. Uh, yeah, no, continue, I'm listening. Yes. Okay. I can't just go out of the gate with no reason, not knowing where am I going. The most challenging, let me think, beyond the river. There's a feeling called beyond the river. And beyond the river, there where you... Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Peddling. Yeah, peddling. In a boat. Yeah. Yeah, that thing is called Doozy. The name of the spot is called Doozy. Yes, yes. But that thing is to peddle. Yeah. Using that, whatever. Good. Yeah, I think that one was challenging for the fact that uh, most of the characters were stereotyped in, mm -hmm. in gangsterism, mm -hmm. criminal, criminal activities. Related. Okay. There's something you said there. You said like prison is the university of life. Yes. So what did you mean by that? Let's begin and say we're not promoting people to go to prison. Yes, yes. No? Yes. It's a hashtag that one. Yes. Because some sensitive people might be misled by the statement. Mm -hmm. Because if I was defensive, I was going to bring out screw on beyond the reef. <laughs> yes. You see? Mm. Which is what challenges me the most. And, 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 and also other these criminal related characters are also challenging because this, this is the challenge. Mm. Playing a similar character over and over is challenging itself because I must make them different from one another mm. even though they might look the same it's gangster all the way but different type of gangsters maybe when you go to mall or wherever you go like yeah how do you deal with like the pressure of people like coming to you wanting to take pictures when I go to the mall is the time of pictures. If I don't want pictures, I don't go to the mall. Mm, mm. But when you're gonna see me at the mall, you must know it's time of going to buy what I want to buy, and also I'm aware mm. I will meet people, and I'm for the people, mm. by the people. By the people, yes. So I'm a public servant. Mm -hmm. Uh, but it doesn't mean people must take advantage yes, because yes. I'm also human, I've got feelings. Yes. And I treat people the way they treat me. Hmm. I like people who have a good manner of approach. It's eye for an eye, tit for tat, butter for fat. You rub my shoulder, I rub your shoulders. Hmm. Okay. There's something you said there, you said like, Prison is the university of life. Yes. So, what did you mean by that? Prison. 
let's begin and say we're not promoting people to go to prison. Yes, yes. No? Yes. It's a hashtag, that one. Yes. Because some sensitive people might be misled by the statement. Mm -hmm. It was a university. Because in prison, I was alone. Mm -hmm. That is why I'm an isolated person even now. As I told you that, I spend most of the time alone. alone. Mm -hmm. When I'm alone, I find my greatness. When I'm alone. Mm. I will realize who like me, who don't like me. Mm. Who's there for me, who's, who's not there for me. Mm -hmm. So, this is what I found in prison. In prison, the prison taught me patience. Everything goes by time. You will learn how to use time. The time management. The being punctual. Time management, punctuality. Mm. And kill the stigma of an African time. African time, yes. Time is very important. When we say 12 o'clock is 12 o'clock. Mm. Past 12, you are late. You are late. Mm. Patience. Everything in prison you wait for. Sacrifice. For me to call my parents, I must compromise not to go to the kitchen. You learn, to, you, you learn all, 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 all characters of a human being. I spent time with you for 10 years in the same environment, in the same cell. I will see you when you're angry, see you when you laugh, see you when you're moody. Mm. It teach you what is a person. Do it purposely. Mm. And I was taught that 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 activity by being under the parole condition. Because I was be able to sign, they must come visit me all the time. So that makes me to develop the idea of self-employment. I must create a business mm. rather than sitting for 15 hours doing nothing. Let me do something mm. that can benefit me. I can't spend three hours just sitting like this. Let me write something. Uh, let me do a garden. Uh, spring cleaning. Uh, let me wash my sneakers, my clothes. Mm. If you never visit me, but you are my friend. I know that from that day. If you are my cousins, Mm. or we were born together but you never came to see me in prison mm. prison exposes you mm. how much you love me and how much you don't love me mm. Mm. good another thing that taught me is that you don't just go out for no reason you see we are seated now mm. we're having an interview yes you have no choice mm. unfortunately it's, it's another world there. Uh, Christianism does, does not exist there. The Bible does not exist there. There is flesh on flesh, one on one, man to man, face to face. I baba I no man. So, the other thing that, that, that the president taught me to follow the statement of university of, of, of life patience is very important. You need to be patient like a vulture. They say a vulture waits for its prayer to decay. Mm -hmm. Again, you know, you know a vulture survives with decay, mm -hmm. decay meat. So that's how I explain patience. You, you must be patient, compulsory, because mm -hmm. you wait for everything there. Things doesn't happen based on your time. With the big of an eye. No, 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 no. Let's see how there. You must be patient, you, you are patient to go to the kitchen. Before you eat, there's 1,000 couple inmates. You are number 1,005. <laughs> Sometimes you get into the kitchen, the food is over. If you don't want to be a 1,005, then why don't you worry about the everyday number 1,005? Who must be the, one, the, the, the number 1,500 in the section? 
Those are the, those are the things you learn. Sometimes you get, when you get, when it's your chance to get your food, the meat is over. There's nothing they can do. We are overpopulated. The, the, the meat is over. It's over. You need to survive with that. You must go with cabbage and, 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 and stamp. Others are eating meat. Mm. You learn that. That every day, Christmas is not every day. Mm. No matter is your right. They say prisoners don't have rights. They only have privileges. Mm. And privilege is something that can be taken anytime. You don't have rights there. You have a privilege. Today they lock you, tomorrow they lock you out. They say, pass in the sun. Next day they lock you the whole week and shut down. You see the shutdown system, the lockdown system. No, it's been there. It's not a new thing a new to thing. a person that comes from prison. Mm, mm. Then you learn to persevere. Patience, perseverance, tolerance, understanding. You learn a person what is a human being. Because you spend most of the time with one person. Mm. There's a robber, there's a fraudster, there's a the other one is insane, the other one is bewitched, the one is cursed. Someone can take a knife and kill someone mm. for no reason, it's prison. So you learn those things, you survive those things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing, it's sacrifice. Mm -hmm. If I have to call my sister or my mother or my granny for visit arrangements, maybe there's something that I need very importantly and urgently. A cue to, 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 to make a call is the whole prison. Hmm. Then on that day, you must know you are not going to the kitchen. And there's someone there who's heavily tough. He's blocking the phone there. And you are not tough hmm. as him. It's a level of the fit. <laughs> He's thin. But it doesn't mean if you are tough, you are a good fighter. Mm. You mm. can be beaten by someone who's very slim. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's a it's a it's a challenge. Mm. Then something special that I, I have learned makes me to say. It's a university of life. Uh, it's, to, it's to be content. Mind your own business. Mm, mm. And to use time productively. Mm. When I was released, because I used to stay in one place forever, mm. I was under parole supervision. I have to sign. So it makes me to stay at home. Compulsory. Mm -hmm. I'm still arrested. And then it developed business in my brains. In this time of staying, waiting for parole officers, mm. what can I do that can benefit? Mm. Mm. It makes you punctual. Everything works on time. Mm. In prison, you eat twice. Eight. It's first meal, one o'clock, it's supper. Because they are not arrested, you are the one who's arrested. Mm. So you are locked for a long time. You live in a cage. And some of us, we are sensitive, we got condemned. Mm. We can't stay, you know, for those hours being locked, just doing nothing. You get hungry, you don't have food. And then also you learn to, to know who likes you and who don't like you. Prison expose people. Mm -hmm. People expo uh, the prison can expose even your family. Within your, even today, nationally, in prison. Mm -hmm. One of my friends died from the food. He was poisoned by people from outside. So food thing is very dangerous, my brother. You must know how to, to become a soldier. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing, lastly, 
appreciate what you have. That's where you develop a jealous, or that's where you will fall into a dangerous trap. Appreciate yourself. Whoever you are, the little strength that you have, and the little that you have, it's fine for you. So, it also sharpens you. When you go out, now you know what is a human being. You don't buy a face anymore. You don't keep people for no reason. Every friend that you keep in your circle must have a veil. Exactly. Mm. I can't be poor coming from a poor family and date a poor girl and have poor friends. Everything is going to be poor. Poor to poor. No, no. It's not going to work like that. That's an old culture. Mm. We need to balance in economical levels. If I work and my wife works, we buy a house together. Mm. We buy a car together. Mm. If I pay a bond, she must contribute, buy food, pay electricity. We need to meet each other halfway. halfway yes. If it doesn't happen like that, then it's a curse. You must know you have a first dog in your house. Your wife. It's your, it's your first dog. It's not a wife. Mm -mm -mm. You are cursed. You must go get someone who will balance with you with economical levels of your life. Mm. Otherwise, you will never make it. You will never be successful. As you are supposed to drive a Ferrari, you will always walk barefooted to work. Because you need to work for your family, black tax, black your tax. wife, mm. your kids. You need to work for everybody, your friends. If your friends don't buy alcohol all the time when you go out, you must quit them. Mm. Or you must quit alcohol and say you don't drink anymore. You can't just go out of the gate with no reason, not knowing where am I going.